Okay. Okay. So let us look at 20, 21 paper 2. I said carefully study the electric circuit diagram below. Okay. Now we have this electric circuit diagram. Then the first question is saying uh, identify the instrument labeled S in the circuit. So the instrument labeled S, this is the instrument they want to They want us to name this instrument. Are we together? Now this instrument is called what? It is an ammeter. This is what? An ammeter. Okay? Yeah. How to identify an ammeter? Now, how to identify an ammeter? How to differentiate the position of an ammeter from a voltmeter? Okay? An ammeter it is always connected in what? Series. This one is always connected in series. Then this one is a what? It's a voltmeter. Yes. The voltmeter, voltmeter now. The voltmeter it is uh, connected in what? In parallel. In it? Parallel. I want to be there. So this is our ammeter, this is our voltmeter. Okay? So the voltmeter it is what? 6 volts. Meaning what we have is uh, the total voltage. So the voltage. The voltage is what? So our voltage, our voltage is what? It's 6 watt volts. Then we have got these uh, resistors. Okay? This resistor, it is written what? <coughs> 3 ohms. Meaning the resistance for this circuit is what? 3 ohms. The voltage is what? 6 volts. Then the resistance is what? 3 ohms. Voltage 6 volts. Uh, resistance 3 watt ohms. Okay? So we say, our A is saying identify the instrument labeled what? S in the circuit diagram. So our S is our ammeter. So it says our solutions. Okay, question A. So identify the instrument labeled S. This is our what? Ammeter. Okay, B. It says uh, how many cells are shown in the circuit diagram? Cells. The number of cells, how many are they? Three. There are three. So positive negative, we say this one as one. Positive negative one, positive negative two, positive negative three. So we have three cells, right? Yes. One, two, three. So there are three cells. As simple as that. Then question C now. Question C it says uh, calculate and state the meter reading at instrument S in the circuit diagram. When the switch is closed, so if this switch, this one is an open switch, right? yes. it has not been closed. So if we close this switch, if we close this what, switch, what would be the rating of this instrument? Meaning, what would be the current? Because this instrument, you are saying it's what? It is an ammeter. Are we together? Yes. Now they are saying, what would be the meter rating of this instrument? So they are simply asking for us to find the current, the electric current. Are we together? Yes. Since they are talking about the meter rating of the ammeter, which is S. I. So the ammeter measures current. So if we are being asked to find the, the meter rating of the ammeter, we are being asked directly or indirectly to find the what? The current. Current. So we know the formula for current now. I. Current is equal to what? Voltage over resistance. Are we together? Yes. So if the current is equal to what is our voltage? Six. Six over what is our current? Uh, sorry, what is our resistance? I mean, three. resistance is what? Three. So, six over three, current is equal to three into uh, six is what? It's two amps. So, two amps, that is our, that is our current. Okay? So, we are done with question C. We can directly move on to question what? Question D is saying, uh, what would happen to the meter written at S? What would happen to the meter reading at S if the voltage is in the circuit is doubled and the resistance, which is R, remains the same? So what would be the meter reading at this instrument, okay? Which is the ammeter. S, it is our ammeter. Yes. What would be the reading of the ammeter if we double the voltage, okay? Meaning if we multiply the voltage by what? By 2. I mean, I would, if we double the what? The voltage. What would be the rating of the ammeter, which is instrument uh, S? And if we maintain the same what resistance to be three. Now move forward saying, if we double the what the voltage, if we double this voltage instead of six, we make it twelve. I mean, 
the voltage is what? 6. Now, if we double the voltage, this is 6. So 6 times uh, 2 is what? Gets 12, right? This is uh, our 6. So if we double this voltage, it's going to be 2 times what? 2 times 6 volts. You get what? You get 12, what? 12 volts. Are we together? Yes. And then we maintain our current, which is what? So our resistance, which is what? Uh, which is it? 3. Are we together? Yes. What would be the, uh, the rating of instrument S, which is uh, our ammeter? Okay? So, I mean, what would be the current? Current, what would be the current if we double the voltage and maintain the resistance? Are we moving together? So, what they are saying is, okay, so, question D. Okay, since they are saying, what would be the rating of instrument S? Instrument S, this is our, our ammeter. What does it measure? It measures current, current. Okay? Yeah. If we double the voltage and maintain the resistance. Okay? So I'm going to say uh, current is equal to uh, voltage over resistance. Are we together? Yes. Now we are saying what would be the rating of the ammeter? What would be the current in short? If the voltage is doubled, mean voltage times what? Times two. Divided by the resistance, are we together? Okay? Where is this two coming from? They're saying if we double why? Double means two. Why? Okay? So it's a current is equal to what is the voltage six? Now they're saying we need to double it. Right? So multiply it by what? By two. Over the resistance we need to maintain hey, remains the same, which is what? A three. Are we together? Yes. Current is equal to 6 times 2, get what? 12 over what? 3. Current is equal to 3 into 2 is what? 4. 4, what? 4 amps. Okay? So this will be the rating of instrument what? Instrument S. Are we together, people? Yes. Okay? It's going to be what? 4 amps. Are we together? Yes. Let us look at uh, question what? This question what? E. Question is it E? Yes. Very good. So question E, they are saying what? What does uh, the result in the meter reading? Okay? Now, just a minute. Okay? Uh, just a minute. I get the reading, just a minute. This one we are done. This is our answer for question C. This one, eh? Then question D, they are saying uh, what would be what would happen eh, to the meter reading at S if the voltage is in the circuit is doubled and the resistance, which is R, remains the same? Okay, they want a statement. Eh? They want a statement. What would happen? Okay, what would happen? So I suppose to write a statement. Eh? Okay, so if I uh, seem to say, I look at uh, the current in this case, look at the current. Where the voltage was 6, eh? where the voltage was what? Was six. Our current, our current was what? Our current was what? D? Was two amps. Are we together? Yes. Where the voltage was six, our current was what? Two amps. I yes. Now in our case, the voltage has been increased by multiplying by twenty. Okay. Where the voltage is what? It's twelve. What is our current? Four. Have you seen? Yes. Have you seen people? Yes. Where the voltage was six. Our current was what? Two. Was two. Maintaining the same resistance, which is three. Okay? Yeah. Footy, where the voltage was 12, the current was what? Four. So there is an increment in this case, right? Yeah. So the current is increasing. As we increase the voltage, as we increase the voltage from six to 12, we've also increased the current. It has increased time yeah. from two to what? To four. If you see? Yeah. Yes. So now, that's the statement they want. So what would happen, you say, the answer is supposed to be the car, the current, the current will increase. The current will, will increase. Right? This is the answer they wanted. Okay? This is the answer. This one I was just showing what's going to happen. Right? So you realize uh, it has increased from two to what? To four after increasing the voltage, voltage. Yeah. you see nine, yeah. yeah. So, this is the answer they wanted for question D, okay. Uh, then question E, the last one, 
Question E, they are saying, what does the result in the meter reading at S, okay? In D, show about the relationship between voltage and what? Current. Aye. Okay? What does this result, what does this result show? Aye. Between the relationship between uh, voltage and what? Current. So just say, as the voltage increases, the current also increases. Aye. Or voltage and the current are directly directly sorry directly proportion directly what proportion are we together? This is the answer. Is this question nine? Yes. This is the answer, people. Do you see? So, mean as you increase the voltage, you also increase the what? The current. Or the two are what? Direct what? Propor proportion. So, this is the supposed to answer this question. Okay?